This member of the mushroom family, this fungus, is for the moment known only as X. It was discovered barely weeks ago growing in a remote rainforest. Science has not yet given it a name, for science knows scarcely anything about it. But it is felt that X might have one remarkable quality, that it stimulates extrasensory perception, enabling the mind to become telepathic and clairvoyant. Now that's a rather large claim. Is it true or false? The answer to that question took us on a unique and distant journey. We're in Mexico, thousands of miles from our Hollywood sound stages in a place called Mitla, on the very edge of civilization. There are no actors, there's no script. For this psychic report can only be recorded at the moment it happens. Here in the plaza of the kings of Zapotec, here in the antiquity of Mexico, we begin a search whose ending at this very moment of filming we do not know. We are searching for something far older than these ruins, which, if found, could hurdle ordinary man infinitely beyond his five senses. And now the first step beyond. The first step is a faltering one. We wait day after day for perfect flying weather, for the only way to reach our goal, the inaccessible village of Hutila, is by light plane over trackless mountains. Has he come back yet? No. Well, keep your fingers crossed. This lovely hacienda at the foot of the Dombach Mountains has been here a little longer than we have, but not much. From here, weather permitting, our chartered plane will fly us to a remote mountain village to look for, of all things, a mushroom. But a very strange mushroom indeed, with powers beyond belief. And here are the mushroom hunters, as improbable a group as you will find anywhere. For instance... This is Dr. Barbara Brown, brilliant neuropharmacologist of the University of California at Los Angeles. With her is David Gray, one of the last kahunas of Hawaii, a spiritual leader whose line goes back 900 years and whose quest for knowledge beyond the world of materialism has led him everywhere in the world. And now here, and here with friend, is Jeffrey Smith, a distinguished professor of philosophy and humanities at Stanford University. And now, and mighty important, is our translator, William Upson, a missionary who has lived among the people of our remote village for the last nine years, and the only man in the world who speaks their language. The pilot says he'll be ready soon, John. And last, our forever optimistic, Dr. Andre Puharish who wrote the astounding book, The Sacred Mushroom. Dr. Paharish's book brought us here in the first place, and in it, he explains how the mushroom seems to have an incredible effect on the power of extrasensory perception. Incredible is the word. We're here for some very specific purposes. We want to know why these people here in Mexico have kept this right so secret for so many centuries. But I would say that our prime mission is to explore and examine the biochemicals present in these new mushrooms and find out if they can be of any benefit in this problem of mental disease. What Dr. Paharish hasn't told you, it is not all as simple as it sounds. The last time he was here looking for the mushroom, a man was shot. And shot at. And another man was... Uh, driven out of his mind. For a while. El piloto dice que ya. In English, dice que ya means the pilot said, now. The shadows of our two small planes fall on rainforests which hide villages where the 20th century does not exist. That's the landing strip, chopped by hand out of a mountainside, so that missionaries can bring the word of God to this lost world. As we approach, 
The pilot warns us to grab hold of something and hang on. A sudden gust of wind could smash us against the mountain or plunge us into the abyss below. 